All right, guys, we got Greg's truck here. It's a 05. Let's, uh, 152,000 miles. Let's do a diagon in here. This has been 05, 150,000. Okay, it looks like the only one really is number six. Uh, we got trailer brake and instrument cluster key and circuit. So, looks like number six is the only code. Let's go ahead and clear it out. 0278 is number six. So, here we go. All cleared out. Okay, let's just run down through the numbers here. I know the glare is really bad, but focus on the numbers, not the background of the screen, and we'll be fine. Uh, coolant 35 degrees, EBP volts is okay, 0.89 is pretty good, oil is 37 degrees, so this will be a cold start. Okay, right now, yep, batteries look to be alright. Alright, let's go right here, cycle the key off and on, and let's see what we got. 49. Well, you can't run. There you go. Now you can see how you are. 50 volt Fickham. Watch for IPR at the bottom to max out. And then watch for Fickham at the top to go down. Still chattering. Here we go. No, oh, it went to 67, so. Could be worse. Fickham staying up. Alright, here we go. Let's check it out. Hang on. Actually, it isn't sounding too bad right now. Let me make sure I'm here. Hang on. Yeah, you can't see nothing, so. Wow, it actually looks good right now. So, let me get out of the sun. I'm still watching it, just, I know I'm going full length. You let it bog a little bit, sometimes that'll uh, show a bad injector even better, but I know I'm bouncing around. Let me get set here, hang on. From what I'm seeing, I mean, preliminarily right now, I would do number two also. If, if you're gonna tear in, I mean, if you're going to go and do number six, six is noticeably low. Two, I mean, it depends. I mean, if you're going to have us do it, I mean, I would push for six and two. But if you're going to do it yourself, then, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, sweat earnings there. You can go ahead and get some more life out of number two and jump in, do number six, and then just be ready. You know, who knows how much longer number two has in it. But like I said, if you do it yourself, then... You know, you don't have to pay labor for it. You just buy the injectors, so it wouldn't be a big deal to go in twice. I mean, but, uh, two could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I mean, six is horribly bad. Six, definitely. It's just number two kept catching my eye, so let's just drive a little bit. There's the idle. Still low. Two is just a freaking hair low. I mean, we try to get this set so you can see it. And there's like no way. All right, let's see if I can do this without the sun in your eyes. Let's see if I. Oh no, we're not going to see it. The sun's too bright. Hang on. Yeah, six is shot. You hammer into the pedal, and I don't know about boost though. I mean, even though it's got a cracked cat tube, it's 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 seeming all right considering that that number six is so bad. You bring that number six back, this whole truck will change. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about boost. As far as boost right now, yeah, you're good. It's hitting 28 freaking pounds. You're good. And it's not shifting funny. I mean, it's not taking power away. I forget I'm in a manual. 
but uh, yeah a lot of that's a tune too because 29 pounds is a, that's definitely tuned but we also let's get down here and I'll stop real quick and we'll see where the idles at once it's warmed up uh, if that idle doesn't go down I mean if it idles at 900 all the time I, I mean I get it you know a little higher for uh, when you let out on the clutch I mean maybe that's why they do it it probably is I uh, but I think I'd rather have mine idle down you know while I'm idling not be at 900 but uh, when I tune mine with SET2 I mean I, I haven't went in and changed the perimeters yet I haven't messed with it enough to see because we have advantage software too we can change the tuning in SCT so uh, I haven't messed with it yet to figure out how to turn it back down on manual because I mean if you can't take off at 700 rpm in a manual truck uh, then either the truck's got low compression you know low power she's a little tired you know or uh, uh, you know that person probably don't know how to drive a manual <laughs> But no, I mean, uh, it did bog a little bit in first gear, just a little, but uh, a lot of that number six injector. I uh, just noticed that these manuals, when, when the engines get a, a little, which is, this is 150,000 miles. I mean, this is not, it's not a worn engine, uh, not horribly bad, but I do notice when they're, when they're up to par and maybe when that number six injector gets replaced, uh, it should pull itself not in granny. It should take off in first a lot better than it does once we get that number six injector you know and that's where like right now that's where the high idle of the sct is actually helping us because the idle's a little higher when you go to let out and it it's not going to bog it as much so uh, right now i'm going to take it down the road let's see how, let's see what the oil cooler looks like hang on it does run it runs good though it does have what uh they would call the light switch effect though from the tune you can tell you lay into it and it's doggy 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 and then you flip the freaking switch and all the power comes in and once again i mean when it comes to tuning i don't really know how to change that uh, i haven't messed with it but a lot of these will have what that light switch effect is you hit the pedal and it's like nothing 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 and then wham all the power comes in and it takes the hell off uh, i'm not sure how to fix that in the tuning but i'm sure there is a way I guarantee it but i just I don't mess with tuning enough to do that. Okay, you need a damn thermostat. There's no reason for it to still be 136 degrees. So we need a thermostat, like right now. Because uh, this, this sucker should be 190 degrees right now. Uh, I've driven it about eight miles. It should be all the way up to temperature. Dang it. Now I have tested it before and having a low, having a cold thermostat, see where we're at right now? It's 138, 145. Uh, a lot of people say that you got to put a thermostat in and get it up to temperature to actually check the oil cooler and i mean i have debunked that before uh, if an oil cooler is bad with a bad thermostat and it's too cold you get the right thermostat in it all it's going to do is bump all your numbers up it's not it's not going to change from what i've seen personally it's not going to change the delta of the oil and the coolant that much and you get a pretty good realm of it right now like right now we got eight degrees uh, you will see we, we go put a thermostat and it'll go to 190 and it'll probably be about 200 oil I mean it'll but we'll see when we drive a little more depending on how good this oil cooler is who knows but like I said it's not most ideal I mean yeah in a perfect world you put the thermostat in it get it up to temperature and and then we see what the oil cooler is doing when it's actually hot but right now we're just going to go off of what we've seen in the past and and uh you know if we think the oil cooler is all right but right now we need a thermostat bad i mean so far the only one i'm seeing i'm going to make this turn here and hopefully the screen will come back again all right here we go now bear with me i'm going to try to do this one-handed with the manual let's just watch the acceleration there you go let's go again look at number six dropping let's give it a little throttle all right i'm gonna try to do this one-handed here we go feel that shift i do know how to drive a manual guys look at number two number two is just a little shaky let's let out let's do it one more time this will give you an idea of i mean i could have swore number two was looking pretty shaky but i mean it's really not that bad right now be all there you go see how number two is staying low 
holding low. So, number six, by far, done. Yep, you, you had it right on number six, but, <laughs> I mean, it'd be time to make a decision. Four's kind of, if I hammer on it, of course, I'm too far out of the RPM range. We're just watching a little bit. He really wanted to check injectors, so let's just, let's clear it. Let's just spend another minute. You watch the shadowing line, the history line, it'll kind of try to slow down a little bit, get the RPMs down more consistent it's more accurate if you have a lower rpm i'm gonna slow it down i'm doing 60. might as well watch it hang on there you go i'm in it there goes number two you see a big drop in number two Kind of big drop. Not as bad as six, but look at the shading on. Oh, hang on. Big old bumps. Look, shading on number four is a, a hair low. Two's a little bit lower. You just look at the history line, the, the little gray shading. Kind of give you an idea. Hang on. I'm almost at the hill. All right, there you go. Let's do one more right here. I know it's a shaky screen, C4. Almost two, four, and six. I mean, you can watch it again and, and look back, but it looks like, I mean, number six will change the truck, but if you want to go in once, two, four, and, and six, and then at that point, what the hell are you gonna do? Leave a number eight? I mean, what are you gonna, I mean, maybe, I mean, who cares? I mean, to make it run can significantly better would be, oh God, I'm sorry, it's bouncing everywhere, would be to put a number six in it. Uh, to go a little preemptive would be two and six, possibly two, four and six, and then if you wanna go just balls to the wall, go ahead and do the whole side, two, four, six, and take that good number eight out and put another one in. Now, we've done them, oh, we've done them multiple ways, just, you know, all depends on what the customer wants to do, so, you know, we can suggest any of it and whatever needs, whatever's gonna happen, I mean, we can facilitate that for sure, so. Hang on. Yeah, I would go ahead and bet he's got a good oil cooler. He gets to focus. Hang on, 163 coolant. I'm driving down the road, guys, so there, we'll bear with me if you can't see it. And okay, 163 coolant, 170. So you know, seven degrees. I mean, I would. I don't think I'd bet my paycheck on it, but I would uh, bet a dollar that uh, we put a thermostat in it and the oil cooler still shows good. I bet it does. So uh, cool. So, hang on. Now another little one, let's hammer on it and see what IPR does. Oh, I gotta get to a hill, hang on. Let's see how high IPR goes. We don't wanna see 84, but it's tuned, so I know it's bouncing, that sucks. Here we go. We don't wanna see 84. Oh God, I can't focus on it. 82, okay, so we, so as far as high pressure oil leak, you know, the 82 is uh, not bad, not bad. Because uh, tuning it, when you hammer on it, it will max out IPR just by the tune. So you don't want to get a false negative by thinking that you're hitting 84%. 84% at IPR would, would uh, symbolize that the pump is not pumping enough oil that the computer wants to see. The ICP sensor wants to see more pressure and it can't do it, so it closes IPR. A lot of times, if it's a stock tune truck, uh, 77 to 81, somewhere in that range is fine at wide open throttle. Uh, and then if it's tuned, you could touch 84 every now and then, but you better be in it hard. Uh, what I saw right now, I was all the way in it, wide open throttle and hit 82. So, you know, that's just a real quick, like kind of like a hillbilly uh, high pressure oil test, pretty much. Just hammer on that son of a gun when it's all the way up to temperature. If you see 84 on a non-tuned truck, you're in trouble. You got a problem. Shouldn't shouldn't be 84. That'll that'll basically tell you the very beginnings of an issue. Like your your IPR will max out before you start having a hot no start. So uh, it's just one of the things you can check I'm running down the road, checking on the truck, just trying to get a little health inspection. So 82 percent, we're all right there too. I mean, clutch feels good. This actually, this, this is a nice truck. I mean, extended cab, four-wheel drive. I like it. I'm not going to lie, though. Sometimes extended cabs get a little annoying, but 
just because the doors but this one actually feels quiet it's uh don't mind it it rides pretty rough though jesus what the hell is this is this 450 i don't even know what this is it's probably 350 i didn't even really look at the back of it Ooh, it stumbles a little bit right there hang on yeah let's see it taking off see how it bogs a little bit let me see if i can get another oh i didn't do it there i know i go a little overboard lately i've been talking too much on the videos rambling i get rambling on this stuff i mean uh but so far number six possibly number two i think i rounded it down we got thermostat needs to be put in uh Oil cooler appears to be all right. High pressure oil system appears to be healthy. So, yeah, I mean, we're looking at injectors in a thermostat. So, could be worse. All right, guys, have a good day.